She was a trailblazer for future generations of women and would go on to spend a lifetime fighting for the underdog. Susan Ryan would become the first federal Labour woman minister. There in 1983, among so many men in Bob Hawke's government, stood Susan Ryan, making history as the first woman elected to federal cabinet. She went on to champion indigenous land rights, the public service, a republic and the rights of older Australians. As soon as I got into it, I found myself standing up and making speeches about this, that and the other. But most of all, she fought for the rights of women. I've been celebrating International Women's Day for a very long time, probably about 25 of them. From reproductive rights to workforce participation and protection from discrimination. Not discriminating against people, particularly in employment, is a mainstream value. As Minister assisting the Prime Minister on the status of women, Ryan was instrumental in the introduction of the Sex Discrimination Act. And the Sex Discrimination Act changed Australia in a way that was very radical at the time. Many of the things today that we take for granted were issues which were championed by Susan Ryan and ones indeed in which she was vilified for her championing of those issues. I'm honoured, Attorney, to be leading the inquiry. Her advocacy never ended. In later years, Ryan became Disability Commissioner and then Age Discrimination Commissioner, constantly advocating for the rights of older workers. Older people can be retrained and love to get the chance, but they have to be given the chance. Older people do not have more sick days, in fact they have fewer sick days than younger workers. Susan Ryan died after a short illness. She was 77. However, a fundamental principle of Labor philosophy is respect for the individual. Not only did she pave the way, she built the road uh, that many of us have followed. Susan was a generous, warm-hearted, committed progressive who made Australia a better country.